Hey, Sam. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll get to, over to Bridget Condon. Go ahead. Hey, Sam. Coach mentioned one of the biggest ways that you that surprised him this season was just you didn't change with all the national attention and talking about next season in the draft and things like that. How have you been able to just kind of maintain and what has it been like? Obviously, four of your key players on offense are now entering the draft. What's it like without them? And how do you feel like the other guys have filled those holes? Yeah, I think as far as like the, the national attention and the awards and the NFL stuff, I, I try not to worry about it. I try to just focus on my team and try to give my team everything I can. And I come to this building every day and just try to give, give my all for this team and try to do everything I can to help this team get better so we can win more games in the fall. Yeah, like you said, we lost a lot of really good players on the offensive side of the ball. Um, so, I mean, it's a lot of guys got to step up and play this year. <clears throat> I think you guys saw some receivers step up today and make some good plays. So, we're pleased with how they played today. Um, yeah, we definitely got a lot of a lot of guys we got to replace. Uh, yeah, they were all four really good players. So, you know, I think a lot of that's going to go into the summer. Um, we see how good we work over the summer, see how hard those guys work, and see kind of who steps up and fulfills those roles in the fall. And then real quick, just a quick follow-up about something else. Um, Kendall obviously had a chance to come – have like this dream weekend and I know you sent him a message before the game and he got to go to the locker room what was it like having him a part of your spring day and just seeing the joy that you guys bring him yeah it was awesome uh, it was awesome it was awesome deal that uh that they put on I was, I was definitely just blessed to be a part of it and try to do something special for Kendall I um, mean you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really get to speak to him after the game so I had a really good time with the game him and his family but uh, I did something special um, I truly love doing stuff like that for kids um so yeah it was, it was a it was cool to be a part of it. Okay, over to CL Brown. Sam, how uh, are you at all surprised at how fast it seems like Ty Chandler has been able to uh, to kind of get himself acclimated uh, within the locker room, and if if so, has that also translated into how fast he's been able to pick up the offense? Yeah, I wasn't really surprised at all. I mean, he's a really good player at Tennessee, and he's. He's been in college for a little while. He has a lot of experience playing, playing in the SEC, so he, he knows what it's like to play at this level. So I really wasn't surprised at all. He's a cool kid. He fits in well with the guys in our locker room. Um, he, he seems happy here. He seems to get along with everybody well. We all love him. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's, he's going to be a really good player for us. Uh, you know, I'm really excited for what he's going to be able to do this year for us. Mike Topper, go ahead. Hey, Sam, uh, I want to ask you, you know, what did you make of the, the passing game today, especially in these conditions? And now that you've reached the end of spring practice, who among the wide receiver group uh, have you seen progress the most? And what have you liked the most out of that group? Yeah, I was pretty excited uh, for the challenge today. They, said, they told us it was going to rain. So that was a great, a great challenge for us um, in the passing game because you, know, you don't get to practice in the rain much. So you know, I was actually kind of looking forward to it, just to kind of see how we how we handled the situation. Uh, but no, I thought the receivers did well. Um, I was kind of surprised they caught they caught some of the balls they did just because it was it was raining pretty good out there. But yeah, Josh Downs had a really good catch. Emory Simmons had a great catch. Antoine Green had some good plays. Um, Justin Olsen had a good catch on the sideline. I think they called him out of bounds. Uh, but yeah, no, I was really really impressed with how they were able to concentrate through through the conditions that we had today. But yeah, I think overall, just playing in the rain and stuff like that is just gonna make them better. So I was definitely pleased with them overall. Over to Gregory Hall. Hey, Sam, I know you talked about Ty Chandler there, but I just wanted to get what did you learn about the running backs as a whole throughout this spring? Obviously, losing Javante, Michael is a big blow, but Max spoke very highly of those six guys. Just what have you learned about, about them? Yeah, I thought this spring was big for them. Um, I, think, um, I think we're really pleased coming out of our 15 practices with what we have in that room. I mean, you know, we were kind of unsure what, what that room was going to look like going into spring ball um, just because – you know, we, we've seen what Ty Chandler did at Tennessee, but other than that, we really didn't know what to expect. You know, most of them guys have, re have never really played a, a good amount of snaps at, at this level. So we got a really good feel of what, what those guys can bring to the table. I mean, I can go through every single one of them tell them and say good things about them. So, but no, we're really pleased we went into the fall, and I'm excited to kind of see who, who really kind of steps up and really embraces that, that role as a starting back. Who did you think stood out today in the game? Um, yeah, in the running back room, I think probably in the running back room, probably Josh Henderson probably had the best day. I think um, you know, I didn't. Uh, I think Ty Chandler probably had a pretty good day. Uh, I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to who who had the best. I think they all had some pretty good runs here and there. But now we were a little pleased with their performance today. And 
I'm really excited to get to work with those guys in the summer and kind of see how they develop in the fall. All right, we'll close up today with Chapel Fowler. Hey, Sam, I was just wondering, um, how do you think Jacoby and Drake played today? I know you touched on them last week, but now that you saw them play in the spring game, how would you evaluate uh, their respective performances? Yeah, I thought they both both did well. I thought they both made really good decisions. Uh, you know, we, we didn't throw the ball a whole lot, um, but there's some other, like, RPO stuff and run game stuff. I think they both made really good decisions. So I think we're pleased with that. Um, you know, I, I like kind of like I like their energy. I like how they, they had command of the offense and they're on the field. So they both had a really good spring. I mean, I'm excited to keep keep working with those guys and see how they develop when they see them. Cool. Sam, thanks for your time.